All right, here we are at Christmas Creek. We're going to do the walk to Larapinta Falls. And basically this is a start point. Come through these gates. We're doing this walk at 7.16 in the morning. And we'll be tracking the time to the amazing Larapinta Make sure you put the chain waterfalls. Back. So through the gates, you'll walk up some private property. And then you come to the start point of the trail here. And this will bring us up to Christmas Creek. It's already been spitting. And so we're very mindful that we're probably going to get a bit drenched on this particular journey today. But that's okay. It's all part of the fun. As you come to Christmas Creek, there's two ways you can go across. This creek is quite spectacular and amazing, but straight across you'll see there's a sign. You can make your way across here and get up to where the sign and then the track continues. Or you make your way down here uh, and get up to, there's a big log to cross over. And that's our preferred way. We enjoy getting up to that log and uh, powering across there, provided it's not too slippery, not too wet. So you do have to watch yourself going across that log. There's this big sort of bark here. You can cross over. Actually, Prill's pretty strong, so give it a few more years, it'll need replacing. All right, here we go. The track begins. Walking 17 minutes in, and we're just walking solidly along Christmas Creek. There's a few up and down hills, nothing too, too crazy. But um, walking along this beautiful freshwater creek, it's just stunning. The trail is a bit muddy today, as to be expected, but that's life. Here it's starting to get a little bit higher, but you can see sort of some signs of mugginess. It was a lot worse back there. Just make sure you got your good hiking boots on. Don't come in any sneakers. I mean, for crying out loud, you're hiking this trail, the Stinson Trail. Don't come in your sneakers. That's just silly. Bring along some serious hiking boots. Um, be prepared for them to get really, really dirty. Okay. Just really can't stress how beautiful this trail is to walk. You can go around the log. Feel free to go under the log. This one has two log, fallen logs. So it's just, it's just stunning, you know, just absolutely beautiful, majestic. We're at the 22 minute mark. From the car, we've walked only 1.51 kilometers so far. Now, don't forget, if you ever do this hike, stop along the creek here and there, take in the beauty of some of these really small swimming holes, small waterfalls. There's way too many up on this trail to spend too much time at. We want to get to Lara Pinta Falls. That's the, uh, that's the jewel here, the gem we're trying to get to. But along the way, take it in. Stop for Smoko. You know, morning tea if you brought coffee. You know, there's one of those little portable coffee grinding machines. Man, perfect place to have it. Weather's holding up really nicely for us. It's a cloud cover. The rain hasn't come yet. So, so far, so good. Just passing these massive fig trees just gives 
you an understanding of how tiny we are. However, we're at the 2.24 kilometer mark, hiking now for 34 minutes, as you can see. Coming around that massive fig tree just showed you, it kind of uh, ascended up, and now we go down. Not too bad today, but this would definitely be a segment that gets slippery, um, and just be careful that you don't slide for a six. A little tip for the newcomers out there, whenever you're hiking, and naturally you'll do this, but I've seen people that don't, grab onto a tree whenever you're ascending or descending where possible. You grab a tree, you grab a, a root, you grab something that'll slow you down, but at least grab something. God gave you these hands, so use them. Hey, this is fun. Lots of roots to hold here, so. So yeah, just, uh, just be careful. And we're right beside the creek. I love the sound of that running stream. Christmas Creek, cool. Here we go, up another steep one. Loads of rocks to grab. Oh, finally a bit of light. Let's see, is this solid? Solid enough to jump down. There we go. All right, 40 minutes and 2.65 kilometers. You come to a tree, it's got this sign. I've never seen this before, so I don't know if it's a little bit newish. Let's see it, Westway's Gray. This may be, there's a sort of a intersection here. There's a path up here. Maybe that was used at one point, but we'll follow the arrow today. And at various points along the way, you'll see things like pink ribbons. Um, even though this sort of seems like a clear cut track, there are certain areas where um, it can become a little bit hard to identify where the trail continues. But by and large, 95% of it is like this. This is what's called a grade five or a class five track um, here in Australia. I'm not sure if that's Australia wide or just Queensland wide, but basically it means the trail is unmaintained. It's a difficult trail. However, as you can see, we've got a clear trail here. You're not just bush bashing the whole way. Just a bit further up the track, you'll see this tree. <laughs> Someone has conveniently carved a bit of a step there. All right, so at the 46 minute mark, 2.95 kilometers, you will come to this um, stream that flows into Christmas Creek flows all the way down there don't know if this uh, has any particular name goes into Christmas Creek just watch yourself as you get across this thing rocks can be slippery multiple ways you can go down across there you can go across here but ultimately the trail actually is just down there so a lot of moss and lichen growing Don't mess around here, you will slip and fall. Oh, okay. Those rocks are so slippery. When you go across 
that segment, make sure you go down on the left hand side. If you go up towards the right, it'll be a lot more thick. And it's not really where the track is. Here's just an amazing swimming hole as well. You gotta love the tree logs that have fallen in. Walk across there, walk across that, or slip off it. Just a great swimming point. But the trail here continues upwards. We're at 3.2 kilometers, 51 minutes. two ways here, we can sort of go across there, or we can walk up the creek, maybe follow this trail here. I need a... Yeah. Let's watch this section, slippery and muddy. The other way would have led you down here. We went the highway on this uh, segment. And just beyond that point, we come to the intersection. It says track to Stinson Wreck. If you want to go to the Stinson plane wreck, it's now up here. Time, 54 minutes, 3.38 kilometers. So what we're going to do at this point, I don't know, a couple of hundred meters just up is Westray's, James Westray's grave. So we're going to just go check that out and then commence our journey for the second leg, which will bring us up to Lara Pinta Falls. Pretty, but I'm over. All right, we've come now just a short couple of minutes after the turn off to Westray's grave. Fifty nine minutes, three point five select seven kilometers, and here's the side of the grave. What the? <laughs> It's quite a bit of history. Uh, very soon I'm going to do another trek that goes all the way to the Stinson plane crash. He was one of the three survivors, unfortunately, in the valley in the Tep to try to get help for the other two that were too injured to leave the plane. He went but fell off a bit of a cliff edge and unfortunately perished. So I'm going to do a trek very soon and we're going to follow the stretcher track maybe or just this trail and then go up to the plane wreck site just follow a little bit more of the history so we'll do that in another video in another time what's that leech. uh leech oh, yeah. oh that's a baby look how thin it is so yeah the leeches are out so we'll go more into the story of jim westray on another journey today's focus will be to get to the amazing Lara Pinta Falls. So this here is a excellent little rest spot if you're coming with a group, a party or or just yourself. Um, it's a really good spot this can be an end goal for you. You can alternatively go up to the plane wreck or from here you're going to be navigating up the creek line and you're going to see the time has just kicked, clocked over one hour 3.62 k's and you're going to see just how long it takes for us to get up to Lara Pinta Falls. So there's a bit of bush bashing and we'll be jumping across the creek stream in our journey going up. So, hope you're ready. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, this is a bit of fun rock hopping. So as you exit out from Westray's grave, you'll just be heading up creek. 
Now, one thing to point out is don't expect any nice trail marked out for you, all right? I don't know if people have left any ribbons lately or not, but essentially, I'm pretty sure there is. But pretty much, you're just going to be going upstream, make, making the best decisions that you can in order to follow the creek upwards. Ultimately, the creek splits up ahead and we'll be taking the left branch, but that's way, way up. For now, let's get up to those logs and get up over that waterfall. Jump down there if you can, on those logs, if we, it'll be a bit quicker. That's it. We can go up here. You can go up there or that way. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I do. Watch your footing. All right, so there's a bit of a track here. You can see people have gone before, so we'll follow this. So we've gone up quite a bit of elevation here. I've never gone up this particular trail before. I've always followed the the uh, creek there so this has been cool to sort of find this alternate path that people have created because it's always faster hiking up a bank rather than rock hopping it'll always be quicker so it actually gets a bit steep here and a bit treacherous so just really cool it's really got to watch it. So lots of roots to hold, which is good. So a bit of a wrong move and you'll go tumbling down, down there. So yeah, just have that in mind. But this is up on the left bank as you're going upstream. There's a bit of a trail there, you'll find it. Um, and 
yeah, I can just see that we're shaving some time off. Really, really uh, good here, getting up to the waterfall. I reckon over here, mate. Yeah. yeah. Bunch of ferns over there. Uh, yeah, you can rock hop. I have previously always bush bashed my way through. Um, that's not ferns, sorry, but towards that growth underneath that log. Yeah, yeah, I've always gone there, but I've never seen this trail before, so this is pretty cool to know. I wonder if this is new or is new. Really don't know. Like, it looks pretty established. Yeah, it does. It does look like it's been walked by maybe quite a few people, so. Maybe we've just never ever gone by enough. Yeah, correct. Well, when you're rock hopping upstream, you're focusing on the rock, so you're not really always paying attention to what other trails that were around, so... Yeah, okay. So now this track is going to go downwards. Oh, it's a bit slippery. And then we'll just keep going up that way somewhere. Ooh. Yeah, correct. Yeah, this chopped in half log. Yeah. So if you didn't hear that, Jacob was just identifying when we come to this big of a distinguished um, uh, feature of this log. As we come down, just past this tree, we're not going to go left. We're going to go right up the high side. So there's no tape, there's no marker to indicate that. So it would be easy to miss if you're just jibber jabbering up on the GoPro all day long. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at this. Certain segments along the way, I don't know how well you can see that in the low light, but they're literal blueberries. Now, I don't know if anyone knows what these ones are called. I haven't looked it up before. Let's have a try. Just kidding. I'd never hit a berry without knowing what it is. That's stupid. Don't be a silly geezer, just eating things that you don't know, like a blueberry. All right, so we're really traveling a good segment along the left-hand bank. Now, on previous occasions, I've also tried the right hand. Uh, you know, the left hand is where it's all happening, that baby. Much, much better to hike still not rough as anything definitely ain't wheelchair friendly and yeah you're kind of just doing the best that you can but so far we've been off the river sorry off the creek um, and it's made a real difference to time Okay, this part's going to get a bit funky now. This one's a fireman pole scenario. Whoa. That was... That's dodgy. Fireman pole, that's what I'll name that. Man, these rocks are slippery.
So as you're going up, just remember, left hand bank. It'll be your best and safest option. One hour, 22 minutes, 4.49 kilometers up to this point. I think we'll cross the log here. Log crossing time. The log is very slippery here, so we might go down over here. So time, one hour, 34 minutes. We've gone 5.15 kilometers. Just looks like it's better going over now to the right-hand bank. We've been traveling up on the left hand. The rocks here are so slippery, so yeah. I don't want to speak too quickly because of just how slippery they are. Just got to throw your whole body uh, over it. It's too slippery to do anything else. You can climb across the log. But this is what we've done. All right, we are now over on the right hand side. Well, just coming up the creek here, you can see there's so many fallen trees here. Um, yeah, I've never seen it like this before. So it's obviously closed off a lot of routes, but this is at 5.4 K mark. We're gonna go around it off to the right. Looks a bit easier then to try to push through there. Over there, it looks a little bit too hard. So we're gonna opt to go where Jake is going up there. Okay, so looks like people may have gone around this side. There's a bit of a trail, which is good. Past that crossing, we went up a really steep um, a section of dirt, which will lead you on the upper side, which is way easier. This is on the right-hand side now, the right-hand side of the creek. And you can see there's more of a distinguishable trail here, which is awesome. So keep that in mind. We're not too far now from the waterfalls. Looking forward to when we get a glimpse of it soon. <laughs> this is pretty cool. bit muddy all around here all right so once again we are on the right hand bank of the creek one hour 45 minutes 5.78 kilometers just really want to stress that uh, it's very muddy here very slippery but very beautiful at the same time I mean look how gorgeous this is this is Lamington National Park. This is... Uh, I've got no words for it, eh? Wait till you come to the falls. 
Almost there. I can hold on to this lawyer vine. Huh? I can hold on to this. No, I'll just... <laughs> oh, there we go. Don't grab the wrong thing. Lawyer vine. Pins and needles. Oh, that. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to go across. Yeah. Good thing you have waterproof shoes. Yeah, I know. Waterproof boots. Next, I need waterproof gloves. All right. So as you're hiking up, one hour, 52 minutes mark, six kilometer mark, through the trees, starting to see a peak of the falls. The point is, don't give up. Don't lose hope. I remember the very first time I ever came here, and I think this was, oh, I think something like 2006 or something like that. But I tell you what, I was going up this stream alone and not seeing, not knowing where the falls were. I tell you what, you start to lose hope. And you get discouraged, it was pretty, it was pretty rugged and there was no, nothing that said where the, how far the falls were. But then you come here. And when I came here for the first time and saw through the canopy, Larapinta Falls, I tell you what, I was just so encouraged and so keen as must to get up there. Let's do that now. Woo! Now just because you get to this point and you can see the waterfalls, doesn't mean that it's game over. Still from this section up to the falls, it's still a bit of a hard slog. So we're gonna do that now. We'll power through. Because we wanna to get to the end game. Very dark, very low light here. So I'm sorry if the GoPro is very shaky and grainy, but hopefully we'll get to some nice light very shortly. As we're getting closer, there's all the overspray from the waterfall. Uh, such a nice breeze, always. Always, every time I've gone, you've always got the wind current that sweeps around this canyon here. We were talking before how we're gonna go for a swim because we're feeling quite warm. It's not even hot because we're literally sweating. It's freezing at the moment. Oh, uh, there's so much overspray, it's not funny. Oh, it's so windy here. Oh, look at the waves. <laughs> oh, I'm too cold, man. It's so windy here. Woo! <laughs> 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 
You want the you want the guy for a swing? <laughs> Let's do it. Should we go for a swim? I don't know. Okay, two hours and four minutes. Two hours and four minutes. 6.56 kilometers. That gives you an idea. Get up here, two hours. Good fun. Come and do it. Oh man. Never been here when it's been this gusty, this windy. My hands are freezing, I've got gloves. <laughs> oh, if you can see it. Oh wow. Woo! We're gonna have lunch down there. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Oh, I can't even look into it. sort of morning tea here <laughs> we're gonna backtrack a little and find a little sheltered area get some chow and enjoy our morning and then pretty much head back Alright, so we've had our morning tea, we're all packed and ready to go. Once again, my counter reads 2 hours and 7 minutes, 6.62 kilometers. And you've got the idea of the times, you know, on our way up. I'll just do it on our way back, just some of the times. I'm not going to show you too much of the scenery, you've seen it all already. It's amazing, so come and do it for yourself if you're able. Otherwise, we're going to power on and... Um, We'll stop next at West Race Grave. I'll take a time count and a kilometer count and probably the next stop, you know, back of the car or something like that. So just to give you an idea as to how long this hike will take here. We're not running, we're not doing anything silly. We're just hiking and, and trying to do it at a fairly good pace. So, all right. Goodbye, Lara Pinta. Always good to see her. Let's go. And occasionally along the trail, you're going to find Hey there little fella, just want to say hello 
so beautiful, so blue. Well, I'll try to snap my... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Oh. He's slow. He's that's so okay, slow. mate. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to say hello. All right. You got ants on you, mate. All right. See you later. Bye. What a cute guy. Anyways. Yeah. First one we've seen on this trail, but uh, I've seen them previously and yeah. I've heard it's good luck when you see one. I just made that up, yeah. Hello. Hello. How far away are we? Uh, probably, probably a good, uh, I don't know, half now. Oh, yeah. It's very slippery. Everywhere's very slippery, yeah. so <laughs> it's all right. All right, this is our fireman pole to go up. So just watch it, there's a heap of stinging nettle over here. Um, that's up past that fireman, fireman pole. And I can see another uh, gimpy gimpy plant coming up over here. So if you're ever unsure, a little bit in doubt, this is, there's a few different species from my understanding, but this is, this is a gimpy gimpy plant, aka suicide plant. I might put in the description a tale I once heard. <laughs> it's quite funny, but quite, uh, probably quite real, about what happened to some dude um, with a gimpy gimpy plant. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And often what you're gonna see, it, this, is, this is Australia's worst weed, if you ask me, if not the most, deathly uh, sting to it you'll notice it's got broad leaves all up and down the the trunk or the stem of it and the branches there's nasty spikes and the gopro won't do it justice but you'll see spikes up on top of the broad leaf and underneath one swipe of this and i'm kind of playing with fire as i'm doing this but one swipe across your skin It'll remind you just how human you are. Often, I've seen gimpy, gimpy plants, they're eaten out by insects, I guess caterpillars. God knows how they survive it, but very, very nasty. So this, take a good look. This is what you want to look for, and this is what you want to avoid. So, hope that helps. If you just want to, you know, have a bit of fun, just touch it and rub yourself with it and see what a party you're going to have. I might go under the log this time. Whoa. Yeah.
Hey mate, how you going? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Nice day for it. Yeah. How far up do you guys cross back over? Cross over? Yeah. Oh, you do it at a couple of points. Yeah. Just where, where it gets easiest. Yeah. Yeah, have a good one, you guys. Cheers, mate. Yeah. yeah. Take care. Thanks. Westray's grave just after that last crossing. Okay, so time was two hours 56 so far. So, yeah, mate, it took us about 50 minutes. Yeah. 50 minutes to get here. So far, 9.13 kilometers. Time in the morning is 10.32 a.m. Just a few more minutes down and here we are at the intersection where it goes back up to Stinson. So I've just got to do something I've always wanted to do. Mwah. <laughs> uh, you got to do these things. You've got to put in the, the shock factor. So we've met already a couple of people uh, on their way through to the falls and it's pretty cool it's great seeing people come out and just want to get outdoors and explore a bit come to these waterfalls just uh just be safe come prepared tell someone where you're going in here either you know bring a first aid kit bring some food stay hydrated and uh do your best not to get stung by stinging nettles. Ah, this is good. It's starting to shower now a little bit, so yeah, we might be. It doesn't really matter. We're we're drenched with sweat already, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, love it. Walking in the rainforest, and it's gonna rain, so it's starting to spit already. That's pretty cool. My bag hasn't got a raincoat. Ready to rock and roll, eh? Sure. Let's go. Woo! I think I might fill up my water bottle, bottle over here at this crossing. Let's get some water here. Ah, <sighs> uh, Christmas Creek water. Nothing like it. And check this out. I can't see any red leaves around here, except this one up on the ground, far out. What? Oh, there's heaps down there. Ah, yeah. oh, forget that. It's not special at all then.
Hello. Uh, yeah, I thought I heard the same thing, but I didn't know if that was what you heard. Yeah, it definitely sounded like a sheep. Let's go find it. We're right near that log crossing, or you can go to the left and cross over up on the rocks. My time at the moment is 3 hours and 50 minutes, and we've done 12.36 kilometers. So obviously we're going to go across the log. I don't want to cross over the rocks when the log is a whole lot more fun and way cooler. So this is it. Once again. Just watch yourself. Slippery. Yeah, it is a bit slippery. Yeah, slippery log here. It's been raining, so. Right, here we go end of the walk time is 3 hours 56 minutes and 12.71 kilometers